Hello, welcome. Try the problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, these problems are fairly common on the Algebra 2 regions. They'll give you a bunch of different crazy equations and ask you which of them is correct or, or incorrect. How do you deal with this stuff? Well, in this case, I look at my choices and I notice 3 and 4 don't seem so familiar to me. But 1 and 2 are very, very common. And if you don't recognize them, that's okay. But let's talk about them. The first one is the difference of squares. That's something you should always go over, right? The idea is that if you have a squared minus b squared, that has to equal a minus b times a plus b, always. And that's exactly what we have here. It keeps coming up in Algebra 2. The first is 4k squared. It's a perfect square. So the square root of that, if you have a squared, the square root is a, is 2k. 2k, there's a and a. And then the square root of 49 is 7. And 7, there it is. And you have plus and minus. So this will check out. But they don't want it correct. They want incorrect. Next, we have the difference of cubes. Choice 2. a cubed minus b cubed is going to equal a minus b times a squared plus 2ab. I'm uh, sorry, ab plus uh, b squared. I use the SOAP, the SOAP acronym because if it's, uh, I'll show you a cubed plus b cubed, then it would be, starts off with a and b again, but the symbol you start with always matches what you're doing. So if you're starting with a sum, you put a sum here. Since we have a difference, we start with a difference. Then it's a squared again, and it's the opposite sign next. Notice here I had a plus with a minus. So I was trying to find a cubed minus b cubed. So here I start with a plus. Now I start with a minus. And then finally, it's always positive, so b squared at the end. I like to use the SOAP acronym. Same, opposite, always positive. Same, opposite, always positive helps me remember that. So I look at this and I see I don't have just a cubed and b cubed. I have a cubed and 8b cubed. So let's look at the symbols first. Negative, negative, same. Opposite, always positive. That checks out. The cubed root of 8b cubed is just 2b, which is right here. That's correct. And if I square that, I get 4b squared. And the cubed root of a cubed is a. Okay, and then here's a squared. And then I multiply, see a and b, I multiply both cubed roots. So a times 2b, right here. That's correct. So that's not it. All right, so now we get to the next two choices. Let me just clear off some of this. All right, so in choice three, I'm not so sure that I have a common name for this. This is a cubic polynomial, the third degree. And if they're giving you an example like this, probably what you're going to have to do is factor by grouping. They're not going to give you a kind of an obscure case. They're going to give you some situation where you can factor by grouping. So what am I talking about? Well, the first group I'm dealing with here, m cubed and 3, 3m squared, has a common factor of m squared. So I factor out m squared from that, and what's left is m plus 3. The second group has a common factor of negative 4. If I factor that out, uh, I'm left with m minus 3, right? Negative 4. Uh, times, sorry, negative 4 times m is negative 4m. Negative 4 times negative 3 is plus 12. But I want to get a common factor here. Um, so is there a way for me to do that? Let me think. Because I want to I get another m plus 3. But there doesn't seem to be a way to do that. I can't get this binomial to match this one here. So it tells me I'm, I'm feeling suspicious now about this one because I have 1m plus 3, but... I, I don't have an m plus 3 to factor out. So for example, if this was m plus 3, then I would proceed. I would say, okay, well, we have n, m squared minus 4 times m plus 3. And then I could see, okay, I'm kind of close to the answer. Maybe someone saw this and said, well, it's the same thing as m minus 2 squared. Some people think you can distribute the exponent and that these are equal things. They're not. And then I would have what they wrote, right? So there's actually, I think, two errors in this, is that there actually isn't a binomial here, binomial common factor to, to pull out. And also, we can't just uh, undistribute or square root <coughs> two terms across a negative sign. So this is our answer. Now, if we're, if we're not feeling confident about that, what you could do on the graphing calculator 
is graph this under y equals. Right, we have, so y equals, let me just show you what I mean. Here, if you have y equals, clear it off. You have x cubed and then plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 12. And then graph your second equation, see if they're equal. We have um, x minus 2 squared and then parentheses x plus 3. So we're just going to graph this out and let's see what happens. So if we graph it, okay, this looks like it's one function is graphing. Okay, so it's hard to read, right? I don't really know what I'm looking at here. So I'm going to adjust my window. The x's seem to be fine, but I want to kind of widen the range of the y's. Let's go up to uh, 20 here. Hit enter and see that helps us out at all. Better. There's one function, and there's the other function. You can see they're not the same. They do cross and are equal at some points, but they are not the same. Um, now, choice four, you could also test it out in the same way. But I, I feel like, just so you know, I'm going to show you a little bit of this one. I don't think they're ever going to put you in a situation where you need to multiply three binomials. That just seems really painful. But the basic way, I guess we'll work it out here just so, so you can see what it would look like. So let me just show you how this works in case you run into a situation that you have to do it. I would multiply these two binomials first, take that product, and then multiply it by t and 3. So, oh boy, here we go. t times t is t squared plus 2t, this, this, and then plus 1t, so that's plus 3t, and then plus 2. And then we repeat the process, and I'm going to, it's easier for my brain, I'm going to distribute this binomial to across the trinomial. So, so I take this t times t squared is t cubed. t times 3t is plus 3t squared plus 2t, and then I repeat the process three times everything here, plus 3t squared plus 9t plus 6. And we get, okay, 3t squared and 3t squared. Okay, so we have t cubed plus 6t squared plus 2t and 9t is 11t plus 6. And that, we have 11t. There it is. That's really tricky to separate it out. And we have 5t squared and t squared. That's 6t squared, t cubed. Okay, this is correct, so it's not one of the answers. So this is, I mean, just recap a couple of things. you got a bunch of formulas. You want to know which are correct or incorrect. Look for a difference of squares, difference or sum of cubes. And then for the other problems, factor by grouping, multiple binomials. These are common things. But if you're getting stuck, if you can't figure out how to factor by gr like grouping it out or you're not finding an error algebraically, graph both sides and see if you're getting the same thing. If you graph the left and right-hand side and they match, it is the same equation. All right, I hope this helped.